are at Ulta and I'm gonna spend $500 on my boyfriend's credit card. Hand it over. I'm gonna have no budget and I mean it this time. Like I truly can spend what I want. Can y'all guess how much I spent today? In total at Ulta, I spent So make sure you watch until the end of the video to find out how much I actually spent and what I decided to buy. Welcome back. Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel and welcome back microphone brush. We're bringing it back. I'm gonna try to include this in as many videos as I can, but I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's kind of annoying like holding the microphone. Today we are going shopping at Ulta, but I'm gonna have no budget and I mean it this time. Like I truly can spend what I want. And not only am I going to buy whatever I want, I'm also gonna take you shopping with me. I'll show you all of the new makeup releases. I'm gonna be swatching them and giving you my my thoughts and opinions so if that seems like something that you are interested in watching which you are because you click on this video then keep on watching <laughs> Ulta, we meet again. We have no budget today, so you know I'm grabbing a basket. And Sephora, you better watch out because Ulta is coming for you. They now sell Sol de Janeiro, including the body sprays, mini kits, and bum bum creams. The Ulta point system is so much better than Sephora, so I would highly recommend purchasing Sol de Janeiro at Ulta instead. NYX also released their duck pumps for $13. And did y'all see the Super Bowl commercial with Cardi B? It was, um something else plumping gloss be bigger so big but other than that i was really impressed with the nude sheets they had available for this gloss i'm considering it but uh i have one too many glosses there doesn't seem to be any new elf cosmetic releases that i can see i'm still waiting for the day they launch their two dollar lip liners and their lip plumping pen in stores because i want to buy all of the damn colors okay and ooh, i was not expecting to see this live tinted has a new mineral sunscreen it's 42 dollars, so i think i would watch some reviews before purchasing but the formula looks beautiful the clean at zero cleansing balm is one of my favorites and it retails for 21 dollars I do need to repurchase this because I finished an entire tub of it, but today I do think I want to try something else. I'm looking for more of a cleansing oil texture, so stick around until the end of the video to find out which one I decided on. I didn't know that Coco Kine had a vitamin C serum. I'm currently searching for a good one, so I might consider this in the future. And Juvia's Place also released their blush highlighters for $18. It's supposed to be more of a metallic version of their liquid blushes. The idea sounds nice, but I prefer more of a natural finish blush. And we have yet another newly released Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter dupe. Juvia's Place has their own version now for $25. I'm personally kind of tired of these and I don't think they're necessary for all brands to come out with, so it's a pass for me. On a good note, I have been waiting to finally buy the Kiss and Press lashes. I have heard amazing things about these, so I am adding two of them to my cart. You know it's time to get serious when you hand off the basket. It looks like they have the About Face foundation, so I was ready to get down and dirty and swatch all of the shades to see which one fits me. But unfortunately, they didn't have all of the testers out, so the shades that I thought that I was, I wasn't able to try. Kind of a fail. Might buy it, might not. Put it in my basket for now. Maybelline has a new brow product for $15. One side is a brow gel and the other side is a brow pen. I'm really interested in trying this, so I might add this to my future list. I think it's finally the time to purchase the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I ran out of my favorite hourglass primer months ago, so let's add this to the cart for $18. I didn't know this, but Maybelline Sky High Mascara comes in a bunch of other colors like blue and pink. I was personally hoping they had the burgundy shade, but they don't. So comment below a crying emoji if you've been watching this far because it's so annoying when things are sold out. They also have a new tattoo eyeshadow stick for $10. I think this neon yellow green color and bright blue eyeliner is so fun and inspiring to play with. A lovely reminder that I should probably wear more colorful makeup, but um, sometimes I'm too scared. <laughs> I had to take a peek at the perfumes. I've never smelled any of the Carolina Herrera perfumes. Honestly, they did smell really sweet and good and the heel packaging and lightning bolt packaging is chef's kiss, too cute to resist. 
Half Magic Beauty created by Euphoria's makeup artist is available in store at Ulta now. I feel like this brand is so refreshing to see in store. It's colorful, it's creative, it's sparkly. It's definitely a brand I want to purchase from when I'm in my artistic makeup phase. But as I mentioned, I'm in my natural makeup era, so eventually I'll come back to this. I think this is new. At least I've never seen it before. It's called the Big Bush Volumizing Tinted Brow Gel for $28. I love how the tube is larger than most brow gels. Have any of y'all tried it? Let me know if you like it. I also took a moment to browse through Tarte and um, I didn't really see anything interesting. I actually feel like they have been releasing so many products left to right, but none of them are just my vibe. Next up is what I originally came here for, which is Rem Beauty. I was looking for the new powder blush and bronzer, but it's not available in store yet. So I feel like this trip was a little bit of a fail. I have really been lusting over the Rem Beauty cream blushes though. And I think today is gonna be the day. Which shade do you think I should choose? I was absolutely shocked by how skinny the satin lipsticks for Rem Beauty are and then I swatched it and instantly regretted everything because I couldn't resist and I had to add it to my cart. The formula took my breath away. I also decided on the Rem Beauty foundation over the About Face foundation because it's more of a natural matte finish and I was confident in the shade that I was choosing so maybe I'll get the About Face one in the future. And they also have the Polite Society foundation that everyone seems to be raving about on TikTok. I'm really not sure how I feel about this brand yet, but I'll be keeping my eye out. Fenty Beauty's new concealers are also now available at Ulta, which is cool. I posted a review of this already on my channel, so if you're interested, I highly recommend watching that video before you buy it. And they also finally made the tint sticks available in store. I would recommend these if you want an easy to blend light coverage skin tint for dry skin. And unlike Sephora, they have the two face jelly hydrating lip oils in stock so if you're looking for it you might have better luck at Ulta and just as I was about to check out I spotted Charlotte Tilbury at the register they didn't have the full setup at my Ulta yet but it was really nice to see that they were still selling some of Charlotte Tilbury's best sellers like I said in the beginning of this video Sephora Ulta is coming for you you better step it up Y'all know what time it is, it's haul time. Okay, so it has been, I'm not gonna lie, about a week since I went shopping at Ulta. I completely forgot to film this portion of the video, but we're doing it, okay? And we're doing it in HD. This is everything that I got at Ulta, let's go. First thing I purchased are these Kiss and Press Press on falsies. I purchased two of these in the wispy style. I actually tried them on for the first time today and I really like them. I really, really like them. They're so easy to use and I feel like I would recommend them. They're not falling off. The only thing is I don't know if I like the wispy style. It's a little bit too dramatic for me. In the future, I'm gonna try the natural style. I also purchased a new cleansing oil. I've been wanting to try this for a while. It's the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I was expecting this bottle to be bigger. It is 2.3 fluid ounces, but I paid $16 for this. And I'm not gonna lie, I've tried this, I've been using this, and I really like it. It's actually so far one of the best cleansing oils I've ever tried. It doesn't leave a residue on the face. It's really easy to wash off and it also lathers. I see why people like this and I feel like I'm going to end up buying a larger bottle of this. Then I also got a new nail polish. This is the Essie Gel Couture nail polish and I have this shade in Woven at Heart. I I like it because it's this like muted orangey red color and I thought it would be pretty for the summertime. I also purchased the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I have been wanting this for so long and I recently, actually not recently, but a couple months ago finished the Hourglass Primer. Y'all know if you watch my 2023 favorites video, that Hourglass Primer was my all time favorite, but I swatched this or like tested this in the store and it feels so similar. It's not a dupe, it's not like exactly the same, but it's so similar, so I bought it and I'm happy with it and I really enjoy it. And if this ends up becoming my favorite, I don't need to repurchase the Hourglass one because the Hourglass one is like $40, $50. This one is, I think 18. I also went a little bit crazy for Rem Beauty and I was not expecting this. I went there to look for their new powder blushes and their new powder bronzer didn't see any of it. I don't think they were available in store yet. And I ended up 
with these. Before I go into the REM Beauty products though, I did want to mention that in the video it looks like I was buying a lot more stuff than I ended up with. What I tend to do is literally put everything that I'm thinking of wanting in my basket and then before I check out, I really like look through that basket and decide. I put things away where they're supposed to be once I decide that I don't want them and these are just the things that I ended up with because as much as I love to shop and spend, I hate overspending. It never makes me feel good. So these are the things that I got even though I technically had no budget and could have gone overboard. Anyways, I could not help myself and I got the REM Beauty Foundation in the shade medium 4N. I really, I almost purchased this when it came out but I didn't because I couldn't figure out my shade. The day that I went to Ulta, I figured out my shade and I was like, ooh, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. It is truly full coverage. It is like a natural matte finish. So far, I like it, but I don't know if it's the best. I don't know if it's like end all be all. It's really good, but it's not end all be all. I need some more time to try it out. So I'll keep you updated. I also couldn't help myself when I picked out the cheek and lipstick in the shade Audition. And I was kind of impressed. Like once I saw these in person, once I took them out of the packaging, I was like, I don't know why I didn't like it when I saw it online, but in person, and everything just looked cuter. It happens. Sometimes the store just like allures you with their lighting and things just looked cuter. Anyways, the shade is gorgeous. It's very, it kind of matches. <laughs> Wait, it matches the nail polish. I got the same shade in the nail polish. That's funny. The formula is okay. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's a nice creamy formula, but I'm having trouble working with it. I'm getting like patchy skin when I use this cream blush and that's originally the reason why I don't usually purchase cream blush because it always ends up looking patchy on my skin. So I don't know if I love this. And the last thing I bought was the Rem Beauty Satin Lipstick in the shade Lingerie. Was not expecting to buy this whatsoever, but I did some swatchy swatchies and that is dangerous. It is dangerous if you walk into the store, have no budget or have no plan and you start swatching everything because you're gonna buy it. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna see something, you're gonna swatch it, you're gonna love it and you're gonna buy it. And that is what happened with this. I swatched this, first of all, look at how thin and small that bullet is. I feel like this is made for people that have smaller lips and it's apparently supposed to be like a one swipe lipstick. The packaging is also magnetic. It has this little astronaut peaking kind of situation here and it's somewhat weighted. What? Like Rem Beauty. I was wrong about you. I think I was wrong. And then when you swatch it, it's just this uberly pigmented, opaque, gorgeous, rosy brown color and it's so nice on the lips. For me, it's not one swipe because my lips are a little bit thicker than the actual component but it's gorgeous. Can y'all guess how much I spent today? In total at Ulta, I spent $98.90. I was under $100, which is a win for me, especially because technically I had no budget. I'm gonna go ahead and finally have lunch now. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and if you're interested in watching more shopping videos, I will link them somewhere in the cards. As always, thank you so much for the love and support, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!